GitHub, GitLab, and basically every other online code repository, with the exception of GNU's offering, allow you to make a public repository that does not have a license assigned. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like the idea of licensing and don't like the idea of copyright, but with the state the world is currently in, I am of the mindset that all of these platforms should force every public repository to have some form of license, or at least a document explaining that you do not license the code base. Now, considering this is a fairly unrealistic goal, I highly encourage every person with public repositories to give that repository some form of license. I'm not here to say what form of license that is, whether that's MIT, a BSD type license, GPLv2, LGPLv2, or anything else like that, but some form of license. Now, I am not a lawyer. I am just a dude ranting in his bedroom. If you need actual legal advice, go and speak to an actual professional. But that disclaimer out of the way, what's the harm in not having a license? Well, there's not inherently a problem. It just depends on what you're trying to achieve by making the source code public or source available or however you want to describe it. Because not having a license and making the source code public does not mean that the project is now open source, for example. So if you're making a portfolio and you're just trying to show off the work you've done to get a job as a developer, you don't really care about anybody using that code or being able to legally use the code in any capacity whatsoever, then really there's no issue whatsoever. But if you're watching this channel, that may not be your primary concern. Probably the reason why you're making this source code public is because you want to make something that is free and open source software or FOSS or open source or free software, however you want to specifically describe it. You want to make something that other people can actually go and use. You want to make a library, you want to make some tooling, you want to make some random app that other people might want to integrate into their projects. But without having that license there, nobody can really touch it. So when you release something publicly that does not have a license assigned, it's not like that project is now just suddenly in the public domain. Many, and most regions in fact, will actually automatically assign the creator copyright over that creative work. And the thing about the public domain is it is defined differently based on different regions as well, so it wouldn't have worked that simply anyway. Without going too deep into it, by having this copyright, other people can't go and copy that work, modify that work, and redistribute that work, which are all core features of both free software and open source software. Someone want to copy the work to go and maybe compile it locally on their system. They want to modify the work to create a fork of that project or to just contribute code to the project. And they'll want to go and redistribute it by putting it in various distro package managers. Now this problem can totally be resolved without having a public license. The way you do this is by making a license. So rather than having a public license, you would define a license with the individual or the group that wants to make use of the project. You would lay out the terms under which you're distributing the code and they are allowed to use it and what they have to do to legally be using that code and then they can use it. But why would you go through that step when you can just have a public license and not have to deal with that? When you're dealing with corporate customers and things like that, there are reasons why you might want to go and do that. But when dealing with the general public, it's much easier to just have a publicly facing license. Now, I'm sure some of you are saying, I'm just an individual. I am in no position to sue someone for violating my copyright. And that's totally fair. But let's say you make some really useful library. It doesn't matter if it's in Python, JavaScript, C, or anything else out there. Let's just say it's a really useful library that a lot of people could really make use of and it would sort of revolutionize whatever that space is. Well, now that you've not given it a license, like how no proprietary project that is legally sane is going to touch a GPLv2 or a GPLv3 license or any other projects that have incompatible licenses with something that is a GPL style license. No one is going to touch your project because just relying purely on copyright is far more restrictive than anything a GPL style license is ever going to be. While speaking about copyright, 
I am only speaking from the perspective of certain regions, like Australia, the US, Canada, places like that. While a lot of countries do automatically assign copyright to the creator, the definition of that copyright isn't always the same. So without knowing the region of the developer, or in the case of an open source project, developers, because there's probably going to be multiple of them, and then potential deals that may exist between different regions, it's kind of unclear what to even make of there being no license. We can make these general sweeping guesses, but we don't have an exact definition without that information. But here's the kicker. Services like GitHub, GitLab, and basically anywhere else allow you to fork, download, and re-upload unlicensed code. And there's no warning, there's no label saying, hey, this code is unlicensed, keep that in mind when trying to integrate it into a project. It does say no license in like the sidebar, but that's as much as you get. And because no company or wealthy individual releases unlicensed code, nobody has actually gone and legally tested GitHub on whether they are actually allowed to do this. So it's sort of just sitting there on this weird legal gray area. Now, if your goal isn't just to have a regular amount of usability for your code, you don't like how restrictive free software licenses are, and you don't even like how restrictive regular open source licenses are like MIT and BSD style licenses, you want to try to throw away all of your rights to the code and make it so anybody in any situation can use that code. Please, please, please do not assign no license. There are licenses that exist that attempt to achieve this goal. Now, how effective they are depends on which regions you are in, but there are licenses like CC0 and also Unlicense, which attempt to put your code into the public domain. But because public domain is so differently defined in so many different regions, it can be a little bit weird and these aren't a guaranteed solution, but they're pretty much as close as you're going to get, except for dying and then waiting for your copyright to expire. There are plenty of other licenses out there that attempt to do basically the exact same thing, but all have their own little quirks about them. So if you actually want to relinquish the rights to your code, my suggestion is speak to a lawyer in your region that has familiarity with copyright law and with source code to work out what the best way to do this actually would be. Maybe none of the licenses that currently exist do the job to the correct extent, but there may be a way to write it that is going to do that. But if you're never going to pursue someone legally about this, using one of these licenses gives a general guideline of how your code can be used. But maybe you don't want to relinquish your rights. Maybe you want to use a free software license, or maybe you want to use a permissive license like an MIT or a BSD style license. Or maybe you just want to make the source code public, but you don't want it to be used in certain contexts like, say, military applications, and you want it to only exist for the sake of studying. There are options for that as well. As I said back at the start, I am not here to say what license you should be using. Use whatever fits your project and fits your specific ethics and morals, but please just use something. But maybe you disagree, in which case, please let me know why. I would genuinely like to know. And if you do agree with me, let me know what your favorite license is and why you use that license. I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.